Hello and welcome to Mr. Fink's Vocabulary Unit 7, Level E, Words. Please, if you do not have your book out yet, or your highlighter, take those out right now. I will give you the definition, part of speech, accident syllable, synonym and antonym of all 20 words in less than 10 minutes. Here we go. First word of the, of the unit is abhor, and uh, the accent syllable is the second syllable, it's a verb. It means to regard with horror or loathing or to hate deeply. And I chose this picture because I hate both the term hashtag and YOLO. So that's a poor. The uh, synonym for a poor is to detest. Antonym is respect. Number two, amend. I think you're familiar with this word from history class, as in the amendment of the Constitution. That's the picture there. So amend is a verb. Second syllable is accented. It means to change in a formal way or change for the better. So the founding fathers changed the Constitution and made it better with some amendments. Synonym is modify. There are no antonyms. Next word. It looks like the word buffet, but it is not a smorgasbord of food. It is actually pronounced buffet. Buffet, not the French pronunciation. So a buffet in the picture, you can probably figure that out, uh, is a verb. It's also a noun. First syllable is accented, and it means to slap or cuff or to strike repeatedly. It's the verb form. The noun form is a slap or blow. So that uh, man there got buffeted in the face. Synonym is sock, as in somebody socked me in the face. Next word is chaos. Uh, chaos is a noun, first syllable accented great confusion or disorder so there's a riot in the picture there police are trying to uh, control the chaos of that riot synonym for chaos is anarchy antonym tranquility next word commodious it's probably one of the more difficult words of the unit it's hard to remember uh, but commodious is an adjective second syllable is accented it means roomy or spacious so this picture is illustrating that by a room with a lot of space, many windows in that room, a lot of stuff to do, activities, so many activities in a commodious space. Synonym for commodious is ample, as in ample room. Uh, antonym is cramped. Next word is corrosive. I know it's pretty appropriate uh, to find this sign on Google Images. Corrosive is an adjective, second syllable is accented. It means eating away gradually or acid-like, as the picture would show you there. Also, like bitterly sarcastic. So somebody's comments could be corrosive if they are kind of wearing you down with their sarcasm and kind of making biting comments in your direction. Uh, maybe you've seen this sign if you have chemistry uh, to stay away from certain chemicals in the lab. Synonym for, corros uh, for corrosive is caustic. Antonym mild. Next word is discern. Discern's a verb. Second syllable is accented and it is to see clearly or to recognize. And uh, by the power of these glasses in this picture, a person is able to see the world clearly. Synonym is detect. Antonym, only one there, overlook. Next one, extant. Extant is the word. Uh, it's an adjective, first syllable. It means still existing, not exterminated, or destroyed, or lost. Uh, these dinosaurs, unfortunately, are not extant. They do not exist anymore. So extant means it exists. So if they were to find, you know, on some remote island that dinosaurs are still around, then they would be extant. But as far as we know, they are not. Synonym is surviving. Antonym, extinct. Next one, implicate. Implicate's a verb. First syllable is accented. It means to involve in, to connect with, or be related to. So these gentlemen here uh, <laughs> just robbed the bank, and the person driving the car would be implicated in the robbery. Even though he or she did not actually rob the place, they would be implicated in the crime, connected to it. Synonym is incriminate. Antonym, absolve. Next word is inter. 
and ter is a verb. Second syllable is accented, it means to bury or commit to the earth. So pirates finding buried treasure, that would, that would be interned in the ground. If you uh, attended the funeral, the body most likely would be interned in the ground as well. There are no synonyms of this word, only an antonym, and that antonym is exhum, which means to dig something up. Number 11, martinet. Martinet. Uh, the last syllable is the accented one, the third syllable. It is a noun, and it is a strict disciplinarian. So that uh, looks like a teacher there. Looks like she would be a very strict disciplinarian. Uh, the synonym for that one is a taskmaster, a person who keeps you on task. Number 12 is obviate. Obviate. This is one another one of the more difficult ones for this unit. Obviate's a verb. First syllable is accented. And it means to anticipate and prevent or to remove. So, hopefully, uh, your parents signed you up to get a flu shot this year. And that would obviate you from the flu. It would prevent you from getting the flu. Anticipating that ahead of time. The synonym for obviate is to forestall. Forestall. Next word is renegade, and if you know that gentleman in the picture there, that would be John Wilkes Booth, the assassin of Abraham Lincoln. He would be considered a renegade. Renegade is a noun, it's also an adjective. The first syllable is the accented one. The noun form of it is one who leaves a group, or an outlaw. The adjective, traitorous, unconventional, or unorthodox. So the person who uh, would be a traitor to his country would be someone like John Wilkes Booth. Turn the page. Number 14. Reprehensible. And reprehensible is an adjective. Third syllable is accented. And it means deserving, deserving, excuse me, of blame or punishment. And the picture there, you know, kind of arrows pointing at different people saying his fault, her fault, their fault, not me. It would be an example of reprehensible. Something that deserves blame. Some of these actions would be reprehensible. Someone like maybe an Adolf Hitler would be reprehensible. A synonym, blameworthy, worthy of blame. Antonym, commendable. The next word is somber. Somber is an adjective. First syllable is accented. It means dark or gloomy or depressed or melancholy in spirit. So this person here looks like they're going through a rough time. They're sitting there with their hands on their face, uh, maybe depressed or in a bad mood. So they would be somber. Synonym is mournful, as if you were mourning the loss of maybe a loved one or a pet. And the antonym is light-hearted. 16. Squalid. As you can tell from that disgusting picture, you may be able to figure out what squalid means. It is an adjective. First syllable is accented. It means filthy, wretched, or debased. Synonym for that one? Foul. As you can probably agree that that room looks pretty foul. And the antonym there? Neat. If you have ever been on an airplane, you may have experienced turbulence. This next word is turbulent. It would be the adjective form of that word. Uh, turbulent has the first syllable of the word accented. It means disorderly, riotous, violent, or stormy. And again, if you've ever experienced that, it's a little scary uh, because of the uh, kind of violent and crazy nature of turbulence. They don't really know when it's going to strike. Um, and they usually ask you to take your seat put your seatbelt on. The synonym for turbulent is unruly. There's no rules. Antonym, calm. 18, vociferous. And I have my friend Brooke Tamlin from the Channel 4 News team and Anchorman who says loud noises. And uh, vociferous does mean loud and noisy or compelling attention. So anyone who feels the need to draw attention to themselves would be vociferous. It is an adjective. Second syllable is accented. The synonym is uproarious, as in causing an uproar. And the antonym is soft-spoken. Next one is voluminous. And although vociferous has to do with being loud, voluminous has nothing to do with volume in terms of hearing things. Voluminous is an adjective. Second syllable is accented. It means of great size or numerous. So a lot of hair care products like shampoo and conditioner say that they provide uh, volume to your hair. Well, this uh, woman here has a lot of volume to her hair. Uh, it's you know, long, it's thick, 
Uh, it's of great size and it's numerous, so that would be voluminous. The uh, synonym for that one, plentiful, and the antonym, meager. And finally, we have the word wave. Uh, if you were ever to go skydiving, you may have to sign a waiver. This would be the verb form of that. And wave has no accent in syllable because it's only one syllable uh, of a word. It's a verb. It means to do without or to give up voluntarily. So when you sign that waiver to go skydiving, you're saying you will not sue the uh, skydiving company if you get injured. Uh, this is the verb form of that. The synonym is relinquish. Antonym is to accept. So I did go a little over the time of 10 minutes. It's almost 11 minutes at this point, but uh, hopefully you were able to get all the words, highlight them in your book, and be on your way to studying for the test.